<laughs> All right, we're here at Bleachers, hey. which is a great, great place. Uh, this yeah. place has been kind of made a songwriter kind of haven by, by Greg, Greg yeah, Morris Greg's and Jeff Greg's Hobson, and those guys. And been, we're here with Justin Pickard, prominent Texas musician. I mean, this guy's really making a name for himself. He's got a bunch of great guys in his band and playing a lot of music and stuff. So, uh, um, and, but uh, the beach is a great place. So I'll, I'll actually be here next Friday. So, oh, good. so it's uh, so it's a great place. But uh, so um, I guess uh, one of the things I was going to ask you about Dallas Observer kind of kind of dubbed you as as a So what does that what does that mean to you? Do you think you're really Americana? Is that really no. really the lane you're in? You think or no? How would you describe yourself? Uh, uh, yeah, Americana is you know a mix a mix of all the all the music. The, I'm not, they, they I'm not against that, yeah, you yeah. know. Uh-huh. It's just, you know, we don't we don't sound like Jason Isbell or right. you know whoever else. Yeah. 
tear Look at the mess I made A broken nose and a broken heart An empty bottle of gin But I sit here and I pray In my broken down Chevrolet musician he does a lot of art now um, okay yeah it's uh you know all kind of comedy music uh real dirty lyrics oh, oh, oh. like adult adult I see. humor okay. uh, but his guitar picking is just a, a huge influence on what i do he finger picked nice. and uh just really cool and he's still doing stuff so uh he's out in california now uh, Okay. So it seems like you're real, real busy, real busy. You're doing a lot of shows and doing well, a lot of work. Are you? Uh, yeah. You also handling all the management on that, like like a lot of us have to uh, nowadays. I mean, I you, mean yeah, for the most part. Yeah. I mean, there's a some uh, booking people I work with. Uh -huh. but I'm still doing most of it myself. Uh -huh. And then, uh, of course, we're on the uh, Fun Guy record label. Okay. That's uh -huh. the Reverend Norton Heat. Um, so that's cool. And you uh, did that out of. Sun Studios, right? Yeah, we recorded that record at Sun Studios. Did that give you some traction there? I mean, I, I heard some of your other interviews saying you really, really thought you picked up on some of that, that authentic. Oh yeah, Sun, I love Sun that. Studio sound kind of came through on that. You really like it. I did. It did. I can hear the room. Uh -huh. it sounds like sun. I hear right. old records, and I'm like, I recognize that sound of the room uh -huh. uh, more so now than I did before uh -huh. after recording there. Uh, it's cool. I mean, I just like, uh, you know, I think the recording part of, of music is something that people kind of overlook a lot uh -huh. uh, as an art form. Uh, I like, I, like that, like the style in which you record is just as important as like the, the lyrics or what guitar you use. Right, right, right. And people kind of overlook that. They just want it to sound good. That long star in the sky. I'm Texas, my friend for life. My day off when I die. And I know hell I've got to have a next call to that. So be mine. I'll silver and gold, salt in a little wine. Oh, just drink wine. And I know heaven's gotta have a place to go where the pesos can find me love. Gone where there's a max of coal, there's a Texas of fire. And I'll be redeemed by the wife. Right, right. And people kind of overlook that. They just want it to sound good. Right. You know, they're like, oh, let's make this sound professional. Like, well, what is good? Or they're, know, or they're trying they, to emulate I mean, something else that's trendy or popular. Yeah, so so instead, a, instead of trying yeah, to be, be true, 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 true to your, your roots. Yeah, I've, I've always kind of uh -huh. strived for different recording techniques. Uh -huh. And uh, I have a background in that stuff, too. So I'm into, into the technical aspect of it. But, you know, like the first record, we did straight to two-track, reel-to-reel tape. Yeah. Um, the second record was, uh, I don't know, just some different stuff, uh -huh. you know, like we used a rhythm microphone. This, this newer one, we did it at Sun Studios using all the old mics. Um, you know, I just like to do you got, stuff. You got I like it to be a little gritty, too. I don't want it to be too pretty. You got new stuff you're working on? You, you're working on uh, your yeah, next we'll, project? We'll you're still play. writing? You, what you, yeah, I think we're going to bust out a newer song. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
It's called a Lowland Sun. S O N. I might. I'm thinking about starting a punk rock band as a side project. We, we don't talk too much about that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to run down electronic guy. I, I like the electronic stuff. Is where I, my other side of things is. I did a lot of that oh, back yeah. in my day. So. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm really into gear. I love my. I love my tube amp. You know? yeah. Very particular about what gear I use. So you've got and, uh, my you've got guitars. You've got a Ryan Pitts playing your duo thing yeah, tonight, tonight's right? The duo. Guys, you normally play with uh, Mark Duffelbach on okay. the bass, okay. Brandon Esco on the drums. Okay, okay. And we, so we'll do. I'll do a lot of solo stuff. We'll do duo stuff. Right. Um, we'll do trio stuff, and then we'll do full band stuff. But you're still keeping those guys pretty depends, busy. Yeah. Depends on the yeah. gig. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, well, who else? Who else should I interview? Who else? Who else do you know of your town that's in, that's important on your music radar that you think? I should interview and I should. Justin Picker, what do you do? Well, where else does your creative juice go? What do you What do you do 
for other hobbies? Or how? What else do you do that that uh, helps you? Helps you? Um, man, I like old cars, like old V8 motors. So you work on them? Yeah. Yeah. It's too okay. hot right now. Yeah. So I'm taking a break from it. Okay. A, uh, at first, it was a chore, you know, just like trying to get trying to get my van running. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, you know, I learned a lot uh-huh. about how the motors motor works. Yeah. And, replaced everything on it it's, uh, so i'm into the you know kind of the hot rod culture uh, yeah and i love yeah uh, i've grown to really enjoy like working on my van and stuff it's just too fucking hot right right i oh, know i know i know it's brutal, it's brutal that's, a, that's a big one yeah and i'm a family man for sitting down with us today. Yeah, Appreciate this. It was great. It was great. I hope it was a comfortable interview for you. We got some good stuff. And, uh, and uh, I'll uh, put all this up here. I have it up on the Ron Radio Show, and I'm, I'm uh, working on improving the marketing on that. So, so cool. I really appreciate you sitting down and doing this for us. And, uh, so if you want to do a, a smiley photo, I can take that. Now I took a photo. Okay. okay you want a good couple do a stills. weird photo, too. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Was that a photo? If you want to look at that one.